Ever wondered why the Bible is unlike any other history book in the world? Unlike your typical history books that recount past events, the Bible takes us on an extraordinary journey from the very inception of our world right up to its prophesied end. Imagine that, a book that commences with the creation of our planet and concludes with the end of days. The Bible's unique perspective is partially because no one was there to witness and document the beginning. So no one, except for its divine author, could write the genesis of our world with such authority. Yet the Bible does more than just recount the past. It gives us a glimpse into the future. It informs us about the end of the world, making us the only folks privy to how it will all conclude. Be grateful that Jesus was so forthright in sharing what the future holds for us. People often ask, are we in the end times? Well, the Bible does speak of the last days, and it might surprise you to know that we have been living in these last days for over 2,000 years. Yes, you heard it right, 2,000 years. These last days began at Pentecost, marking the commencement of the fulfillment of the first prophecy of the last days. Now, let's delve a bit deeper. The Bible, as many of you might know, is a book brimming with predictions. There are, in fact, 735 prophecies about the future nestled within its pages. That's right, 735. From the book of Genesis to Revelation, predictions are scattered throughout, making the Bible essentially a prophetic text, though some books focus more on these predictions than others. Here's something even more fascinating. Of these 735 predictions, 596 have already come true. That's a whopping 81% of all Bible prophecies that have already unfolded right before our eyes, just as Scripture foretold. These prophecies were made centuries ago, yet they happened exactly as predicted, validating the Bible's prophetic prowess. Now, you may wonder about the remaining 19% of the prophecies. It doesn't take much confidence to believe that these two will happen as well. After all, the Bible has a track record of being 100% correct for every prediction that could have been fulfilled by now. Most of these remaining prophecies concern the actual return of Jesus and the events that follow. There are about 20 of these predictions still left to come true before Jesus returns. As we navigate through our lives, we remain vigilant, watching for these prophecies to unfold. For as Jesus himself told us to do, we watch and pray. How many of these predictions remain to come true before Jesus returns? This question sparks our curiosity, our longing for understanding. What we know is that the majority of these remaining prophecies are concerned with the actual return of Jesus and the events that will unfold thereafter. Jesus, in his wisdom, urged us to watch and pray. But what does it mean to watch? It's not about gazing at the clouds waiting for a divine figure to emerge. No, it's about being conscious, aware and observant of the world around us. It's about recognizing the signs, the signals that indicate his impending return. Let's delve into the book of Matthew, particularly chapter 24. Here the disciples ask Jesus, what will be the signs of your return? This question, so simple yet so profound, leads us to the heart of our discussion today. When Jesus spoke of signs, he was referring to a series of events, occurrences and changes that would precede his return. These could be social, political, environmental or spiritual shifts that align with the prophecies foretold in the Bible. It's not about predicting a date on the calendar, it's about understanding the rhythm, the pattern, the unfolding of God's divine plan. So we watch. We observe the world around us with open hearts and discerning minds. We look for the signs not in fear or apprehension, but in anticipation, in hope. We pray not just for understanding, but also for strength, for patience, for the courage to live according to his teachings, even as we await his return. As we navigate through our lives, let's remember Jesus' words. Let's strive to understand the signs, to be aware of the shifts and changes in our world, and to align our lives with his teachings. Let's watch and pray, for the signs of his return are all around us, waiting to be noticed. Stay tuned, watch and pray, for the signs of his return are all around us, waiting to be noticed.